Hey everybody, welcome to Torchlight 2. So this is a game that's been out for a while and I finally picked it up because it was on the Steam sale. I honestly forgot about it for quite a long time because Diablo 3 had came out, I think around the same time as this. I actually played the original Torchlight, or the original Torchlight, and it was a lot of fun, so... Decided to pick this up, I really wanted to try it. So, we're gonna start a new game, hmm... Who do I want to play as? Select the character class, the Engineer. Equipped with Ember, Power, Weapons, and Armor. Engineers keep the frontier in working order. The Ember Mage. Trained in the arcane arts, Ember Mages employ a variety of elemental spells to deadly effect. The Berserker or the Outlander. I actually want to go with the Berserker. He was he looked really cool when I uh, when I first saw the game and found out information about him. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like she's a bit crazy. Why not? White hair. And we're going to be Trentonian. Because why not? I like how I have a panda bear for a pet. Oh, cool. I can have an alpaca. I can have a panther. Ooh, the panther looks really cool. Oh, I can have a bulldog. He's so adorable. Oh, he's kind of spitting everywhere. A, a head crab. I can have a badger. Ooh, I'm tempted to go with the badger. I want the panther. It looks really cool. And hit. That's actually really fitting, Shadow. I had a cat named Shadow when I was really younger. Very young. Whatever. Single player. Ooh, 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 I can't wait. Really excited. I love the original one. The character that I really liked was the... They're kind of like a marksman character. They used a... Like, rifle, uh, bunderbuss, weapons like that. I wasn't really a big fan of the other two characters. I can't really quite remember what they were. One was kind of like a warrior or a barbarian. Du -du -du. Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> I love the music for this game. Heroes may fall. Hope may fade. But new ones will rise. Will rise. <laughs> uh, pretty good. I got it. I guessed it. Okay. Finally. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, talk to this person. I think this so, is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave. But you're on your own. Warn them that the alchemist destroyed Torchlight and is headed their way. He may be there already. Okay, cool. Whee! What else can I do? I can't wait till I unlock some cool abilities. I might have to switch around the uh, some of the controls a bit. Well, not the controls, but the hotkeys. Ratillion archers, huh? When do I get my first ability? Aha! Uh -huh. I give them. Not the panther! Or war beast. What in the world? It looks kind of like a panther or a, uh. I don't know. Some weird, like, grubby creature. Come on, my minion! Can it attack? I don't think it can. I think it's basically just like a, uh. Basically, kind of like an extra backpack, I can, um... Oh, wait. Maybe it can attack. Too aggressive. You can put items in its inventory. Oh, that's cool. You can put items in its inventory and uh, send it back to town so you can sell stuff easier. You can go back and forth easier, I guess. No, leave my friend alone, you fucker. Leave him alone. I saved your life, and you're saying, what's my business? Whatever. I really like the rain effects and the color. It's like, it's a very colorful game. And very cartoony. I really like it. The Death Flinger. For a second, I thought it said Death Finger. It's like, it's the Death Finger. Watch out. You've leveled up. You've gained a level up. Click on the level up button to something. Oh, that's cool. Skills. Skills to pay the bills. Hunter skills, thunder skills, shadow skills. Frost breath. You channel the frigid north winds to unleash a blast of icy breath, which immobilizes enemies and makes them more susceptible to damage. The blast reaches five meters at a 90 degree angle. That sounds pretty cool. Kind of like the sound of the, uh, the thunder skills. Um, you didn't do the, the, the frost breath. Why aren't you doing the Frost Breath? I picked up Outlast recently. It's also on the Steam Summer Sale. So I'm hoping I can play that soon. What I'm really looking forward to will be the 
the Halloween sale because I want to try to get into horror games, so that'll be the perfect time to pick up some horror game or yeah, to pick up some horror games. Ooh, a golden key, huh? Back off, war beast. Rattling. That's actually really cool. I'm really liking the Berserker so far. Kind of a fun little character. Oh, I can use the tab to switch my skills. Okay. Eat Frost Breath. That is so cool. I don't know why, but like I've always loved like ice abilities and lightning abilities. Especially ice. Like when I watched Avatar: The Last Airbender, my favorite uh, bending was the water bending because they could control water and like freeze it and make it ice. I have received a quest and a new weapon. This one has sockets. You can. I'm assuming you can get like gems to put in them or things to basically buff them. Welcome, friend. Welcome, friend. Ooh, dynamite. <laughs> Blast fishing. I can't remember if certain shopkeepers. She has no. Uh, she has no top. Her hair is just covering her chest. I can't remember if certain if certain shopkeeps will buy stuff for for a higher price. I could use your help. The two Strombjorn have set up a makeshift smithy there. And they have two blacksmiths making suits of armor for wild war beasts they've captured. Those Sturmbjorn seem to be working from schematics, but they keep them under lock and key. Yeah, I can get those for you. Bring it. Skeletal archers. I'm not afraid of you. I'm gonna kick your butt. I'm gonna punch you in your face. I'm gonna... F <laughs> I'm gonna freeze you. Freeze one of you, at least. Is there any more chests? I really like how this has what seems to be kind of like an overworld to it, and there are going to be other dungeons that I can go into. I wonder if I can change my pet. That'd be cool. I did I did really like the panda. Although I like the panther more, I think. Bam. Bam. Freeze them. Okay, maybe the, uh, the freeze isn't the best. Maybe it's better against, um... Groups that are more concentrated or like bigger enemies that I really want to just destroy. Freeze! You shall not pass. You shall not to get the way alive. <laughs> I don't know what that accent was supposed to be, if you could even call that an accent. Break the rocks. I need your help. It must be the human. The other Asterians we're speaking of, I am glad to have met you. I have been sent on a quest by Grand Regent Elden to recover the, skull, the scroll of Anom Erek, stored in a vault in the corrupted crypt here. Unfortunately, the Sturmbjorn have already entered the crypt. I think I have to kill the Sturmbjorns, so I will take your mission. Ooh, can I get claws? That sounds cool. I'll do it. I'll murder them Sturmbjorns. Ooh, I have unspent stat points. I also like that. It kind of tells you... Hey, you forgot to spend your stat points or your skill points. I really like the Frost Breath. It's pretty cool. I also like the animation for it. It's like you're summoning a feral spirit to attack my enemies. Break the urn. Break the urn. Hello, little war beast. Er, feral walker. You're not a war beast. Ooh, a weapon rack. Eat shit. I mean, increasing my mana would definitely be a good idea if I'm planning on using my skills. My skills to pay the bills. Skills to pay the bills. Aha! That was kind of cool. It's kind of like one of the, uh... The tricksters or whatever from... We'll enter the Gungeon. The Mimics. So this is kind of what I was talking about with, um... With having other dungeons in the game that you go into, like this crypt. And I really like that aspect of it. Kind of reminds me of Diablo in, in that aspect. I hope I'm enunciating well enough. That's something I always worry about, is that people aren't going to be able, be able to understand me well, like I'm talking too fast. I do have that problem sometimes. So another kind of cool thing about this game is that it seems like you can... Uh, ooh, a mysterious claw. But it seems like I imagine I could spec my character more for physical damage, or I could spec him more for, like, magic for, like, the shadow or the ice. Potentially. Not really quite sure how all that works. Oh, this is so cool. The, uh, the Berserker kind of reminds me of the Monk a little bit, and just, like, the way it works and some of its abilities. Like, the, uh, the explosive damage on the claws, or the, uh, the fists, is really cool. 
Hello. You all lined up perfectly for me. Oh god, they're climbing out of the hole. Freeze them. <laughs> that also kind of reminds me of Diablo 3. There are some enemies that will like climb out of pits or come out of furnaces. You have become more experienced. I have become more experienced. Spike flinger, huh? Again, for some reason I thought it said spike flinger. Or spike finger. Spike finger. Cold steel mastery. These, um, oh, passive skills, cool. The only thing harder than steel is cold steel. Always enabled. Plus two physical damage, plus two, or plus six to ice, six to ice damage. The Valang tribes consider it a rite of passage to slay a two-toed mountain sloth. Cast speed, uh, armor per hit, health, damage when dual wielding, 10 chance to execute, three to, ooh, this is actually really good for me. Sweet. Oh, I wrecked them. I also have plenty of potions. Gragamorth. I think that's what it said, Gragamorth. Pull the lever, Crunk. Wrong lever. Sup, little guys? Freeze him. Oh, God. Hey. Wrong button. Wrong button. I nearly got destroyed there. Come on, get him. There we go. I got the scroll. Okay, people. I'm... People. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna go on ahead and leave this here. I didn't quite get to uh, play as much as I wanted to, or I didn't really get far into the game, but this is a really cool game. I'll be sure to come back to it pretty soon. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe, leave a comment down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.